All the races in the world belong to one race, the human race. God is also one. He has no form or shape. He is a power. To this power they give different names in different languages. They carry out different rituals, reciting, My God, Your God. The children of the one mother and father have separated into millions of divisions, and they have separated the one God into many, giving millions of forms to the one who has no form, the one who has no equal, the one who is present in all lives has been parceled into my God, into my property and yours. Mine is right, yours is wrong. The people fight among themselves and pray to God in the way they want, disrupting the unity of the human race. They have lost the qualities, actions, and conduct of God. This kind of fighting, dissension, sin and falsehood are flourishing in the world today. People use the word God, but they do not know that He is one power and that the only place in which He will grow is truth. The God spoken of in all the different languages is the same God. If wisdom grows within, if men stop fighting and go to a sheikh to discover the meaning of God, he will tell them the true point. And when the sheikh asks them to speak of what they believe, each will be speaking of the same primal treasure. The sheikh will then tell them, this treasure must be grown within, within your call, your inner heart. Plow the call and prepare the soil, make it clean. Then the one without equal or form should be planted in every call. If you plant this seed and if the crop grows, you can dispel the poverty and illness of all souls in the world. Then all lives can live in unity as one race, praying to one God. If you obtain this wisdom, you will receive its benefits, and the kingdom of heaven will be yours. There are many kinds of fruit trees and many kinds of fruits. They have beautiful colors, beautiful shapes, and lovely fragrances which can be very attractive to man. But the flavor and the sweetness of the fruit is on the inside. The flavor is not in the beauty, color, or shape, is it? Only one who eats the fruit will know the flavor. Then the fruit can be identified. Ah, this looks like a lovely fruit, but it is sour. That one is sweet, but this one is bitter, he can say. And he can put the bad one aside. Similarly, there may be many gurus, sheikhs, yogis, and nanis in the world, and they may have many religions, scriptures, doctrines, and beliefs. They may adorn themselves with robes, beards, jewelry, and gems, and look quite beautiful. As with fruits, there may be many varieties. They may appear in many colors and hues and perform all kinds of singing and dancing, but you must know the flavor in their hearts, their qualities, actions, conduct, and wisdom. Only when their hearts are tasted can it be known whether the flavor within them is the flavor of the honey of Nanam, or divine wisdom, whether it is the honey of illusion, the honey of torpor, the honey of lust, the honey of craving, or the honey of demons. All these can seem like honey, but their very different qualities can be known only through their flavors. When a man who is wise examines the flavor within them, he will say, Ah, 
These are not food. These are things that can kill us, are they not? They may seem quite beautiful on the outside, but they are not tasty. They can cause suffering to our lives. A man who is wise will not look at the colors, hues, shapes, or outer beauty. He will turn his attention to the flavor of the fruit. In the same way, one who needs truth and wisdom will not look at religions, races, colors, hues, high status, or low status. He does not need them. Instead, he will focus on what is in the heart and taste it to see what flavors exist there, what qualities, love, fondness, sweetness, grace, and beauty exist there. He will find the sheikh who has the flavor of these good qualities and follow him. Once he finds the true taste, he will stay with it. This is the real flavor and the real state to which a man must gain.